BBC Radio 4 just put out their radio drama adaptation of Good Omens, a book by Neil Gaiman and Terry Pratchett. Good Omens is also my favorite book of all time, so I was really excited for this radio drama. But by the time I'd finished it, it was okay. It was, it was just okay. Uh, I was kind of worried that maybe the reason I didn't enjoy it as much as I was hoping I would was because it is my favorite book of all time and that nothing they could do could stand up to the idea I have of it in my head. But generally I'm pretty lenient on adaptations of books or games or anything that I love. Uh, look at World War Z, the World War Z movie and the book, both completely different, but I still enjoy the movie. The Hobbit trilogy, uh, just, just the Game of Thrones, uh, Game of Thrones and Ice and Fire. Uh, I, bo I love both of them equally. There are things in each that I love and things in each that I hate, but I'm pretty good about separating the two. So I, I really don't think that's it. Uh, in thinking about it, I feel like where the radio drama just kind of fell flat was their decision to not add a narrator. Now, in the book, the entire thing is told through uh, a third-person omniscient narrator. Uh, about 25% of it is, you know, the dialogue and the, the characters talking to each other, but the other 75% is backstory and footnotes and commentary on what's going on or what the, the narrator's opinion of this country or that country or whatever is going on in the action, just the commentary on that. And there is so much of it. I mean, in this book, there is just so much going on. Uh, with what the narrator is saying, and also just the action. I mean, it follows a huge cast of characters, but it also branches off to about a million and one different little characters and little events that have to do with it. If you don't know the story, it's about an angel named Aziraphale and a demon named Crowley, who have been on Earth for a millennia, doing heaven and earth, uh, heaven and hell's bidding. And in their time on Earth, they, you know, became friends and made this arrangement to kind of keep the status quo. Uh, but the apocalypse is about to happen, and they kind of like Earth, and they like the world, and they like humanity. So they put in motion events to stop it from happening, and it follows them and what they do, and all the hijinks that ensue, and all the cast of characters that have to do with it, and it's all told through these prophecies um, by this prophetic witch from the 17th century, Agnes Nutter, who her... Her prophecies are so nice and accurate, and by nice, they mean spot on and accurate and like 100% accurate. But because it was in the 17th century when she was making a prophecy about uh, one of the characters overturning their Japanese made car, it comes out as like a chariot of the Orient, things like that. So no one really understood them until they're about to happen or have already happened. So it's, it's this huge story with this huge cast of characters with all of these different events happening and all of these little things happening and all of the, the backstory and the footnotes that go into the book. Not having the narrator in the radio drama, just it kind of, it, it felt empty in that regard. They did try to put a lot of what the narrator says into dialogue with the characters in the radio drama, but it still just, it didn't work. However, the rest of the radio drama I thought was good. Uh, I, you know, I enjoyed it for the most part. Uh, I thought the cast they got was great, even though there's only really one, uh, one actor who did the voice acting of Crowley that I recognized, Peter Serafinowicz, who, uh, until recently, I didn't even know what his name was, but I'd seen him in at least three things. Uh, he was Pete in the beginning of Shaun and the Shaun of the Dead. He had, uh, a guest role in an episode of Parks and Rec when, uh, Chris Pratt goes to London. Uh, it was really funny in that. And he also just did Guardians of the Galaxy as Denarian Day, uh, one of the leaders of the Nova Corps. Um, so, and, and every time I've seen him, he's always stood out. So I'm, I'm glad to see that he's, you know, he's starting to get more work and he's starting to get more traction in his career because I'd like to see him do more uh, comedy and even more drama. Uh, picking him as Crowley was an excellent choice. Uh, I have a very short list of who I thought could play Crowley, uh, and that list is Gary Oldman. Uh, I thought, I mean, since from reading the book in high school, Gary Oldman was always my Crowley. Uh, when they actually had Crowley in Supernatural, he wasn't the real Crowley. 
but he basically was Crowley. They had Mark Shepard play him, and as soon as I saw that, I thought Mark Shepard would have done a gr did a great job as Crowley. Uh, I think he'd be perfect for the role. And now Peter Serafinowicz is, does a great job in the role. Um, I have this huge star cast for what I think would be the ideal uh, Good Omens cast. However, I don't think Good Omens could ever really be done... I don't think it could ever really be done as well as it could have, unless it was Peter Jackson directing it into a nine-hour trilogy, which I'm actually interested in happening. So, Peter, if you're listening, let's make this happen. If you saw the radio drama, let me know what you think. If you've read the book, also let me know what you think. I love this book. It's my favorite book of all time. Uh, it got me to read more Neil Gaiman, who became my favorite author of all time. I haven't read other Terry Pratchett things, but I'd really like to. Uh, I know he did Discworld. So if someone wants to tell me which book of, Disc of the Discworld series I start with, let me know so I can get on that. Uh, it's my favorite book. The radio drama, I didn't enjoy it as, I was, as much as I was hoping, but it still wasn't bad. Uh, I enjoyed it. I, I laughed. I I had that same feeling at the ending of ah completion conclusion. It, it was it was a good radio drama. I just think they should have kept the narrator. Uh, I feel like that was a huge boon in the book, and without it, it just kind of falls flat. So let me know what you think. Uh, like my like the video, share it around. Uh, find me on Facebook and Twitter, and also subscribe to my channel so we can geek out some more. But until then, have fun.